What's the verdict? Why did the video transmission stop? Could just be position. I mean, radio waves going into the ground doesn't do this thing any good. Now the, the shaft here did go in a little bit, I can tell. Like I do want to take this apart and check because um, this has happened a few times, the shaft has pushed inwards on in a crash and it might be stressing out the uh, the antenna wire going to the flight controller. But we will be opening this up, coating it with um, conformal, what do you call it, conformal coating, I think that's what it's called. Let's unplug this. Don't want to overheat your VTX. Yeah, we'll get this bad boy ready for winter flying. I'm actually looking forward to taking it out um, on the lake. Nice wide open space. I could probably fly across the bay, which is five kilometers, I think. The question is, like, how do I get it if I do crash? It's about two and a half hour walk across the bay. I, I have an e-bike. I could uh, bring my e-bike with me and ride that across, but depending on the state of the lake, it just might not work. I don't have a snowmobile or anything, so I have to proceed with caution there, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's see if this connects back up to the DJI goggles. That was strange. Very strange. Put that thing in my pocket so many times and I set the uh, I set the controller down I go grab my drone while carrying these and it just like rips the cord out wait that made no sense <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I, I keep this battery pack in my pocket I set the goggles down and then I walk away and the goggles get ripped as I'm walking away Okay, so everything's uh, working fine. We didn't check the props, but we'll do a flight. Flight check. Ooh, am I drunk? Everything feels good. Left or right? I think we'll go right. So what do you all do for winter flying? I, I know there's a few seasoned and beginner drone pilots uh, that are, have been watching my channel. Like, t what do you guys do? Um, do you use conformal coating? Do you strictly stick to, um, not cine whoops, tiny whoops, like indoors? Because I know that is a strategy for some people. They just fly tiny whoops for a few months. I think I'm gonna try the conformal coating. I, I want to enjoy flying a drone all year around. Currently, to me, what excites me about drone flying, obviously the experience, the technology, there isn't much that uh, mimics it. But it's exploring the world around you, like, in this form. It, I don't know if it's just me. I've also enjoyed, like, miniature stuff my entire life. Um, but it's kind of like looking at the world in a new set of eyes. Like suddenly trees and gaps and whatnot, they're not just trees and gaps. There's so much more and they get a lot of fun out of it. I don't know. I'm having a good time with drone flying. Kind of bringing me back to my childhood. Can you imagine having something like this growing up in the 80s, 90s? Oh my. Like, we had radio-controlled cars. I swear, man, some of them took, like, eight jumbo batteries, like, D batteries or something. It was insane. Six minutes of time, drive time. 
You gotta charge the batteries all day. What is over here? Clearly there's a road, but I've never been over here before, like ever. I got breaking, breaking video, breaking video. It's not bad because I'm really not that high up. It's interesting. So it took a while for the video feed to get back to 100% when I'm flying towards myself. And that makes sense because the video antenna is on my rear. So when I'm flying away, I would have best reception. Okay, neat. Well, little by little, I'm getting more comfortable with flying uh, long distance, I'm learning to keep an eye on that bit rate uh, as an indicator. Once you get down to 20 megabits per second, you want to pay attention to how far you're going. If you get down to 10, it's like the danger zone. Five, that's that's sketchy AF, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what's touching my hand? Oh, I know. It's this DJI cable. Oh, that's cool, seeing the shadow of my drone. Oh my God. I noticed it right when I was like turning. I'm gonna try that again. Oh. My camera angle is a little more angled. I can see it just how I want to. We'll get there. I think we're somewhere in between 10 to 20 degree camera angle. I haven't got the protractor out. I'm not measuring it. But I don't, I don't honestly don't think it's any more than 15, but I do want to bump it up to 20, maybe in the next month, like within the next 30 days. Like, I feel like I could see a bit more of the ground. Like I'm happy with this cruising speed that I'm going. Like, what is this? Where's my speed? This is 24 kilometers an hour. So I'm okay with that speed, but if I could see a little bit more of the ground and less of the sky. I know the weight, that doesn't make sense because I'd be tilting it up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Just gonna have to edit out all this rambling. I don't know if you guys appreciate that. But hey, this is real, right? I'm a real pilot making real mistakes, doing real shit. I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect pilot, not a perfect person. If that's not motivational, I don't know what is. I hear children. A little blankety blank. Oh, whoa, 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 hello. I'm trying to kiss the tree. Yeah, I'm happy. I, I was really struggling with throttle control going around turns and I'm, I'm finally like getting it. Get a little jumpy sometimes, but I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if I just like bouncing around having fun. Oh, I like this low riding. I like being a low rider. It's nice. Because I wasn't too comfortable going close to the ground. Like it still says I'm five meters high in the goggles. There, there must be some plus or minus uh, error within that reading. I, ha I haven't looked into calibration or anything. Like the recording time is off in my DG gog DJI goggles. I have no idea how to. I have no idea how to change that. No battery. I didn't put in much effort. I took a gander through the options, but I feel like you have to do it in the flight controller. I don't know. I just have a feeling that's where the time's kept. But what do I know? Not much. 
But the speed readout, I, I think it's accurate. I followed a car the other day, a few videos back, and the car was in my field of vision the whole time. I was around 60, 65 kilometers per hour, and that's the speed of the road, so. Oh, there's my shadow, that's so cool. No battery. No battery. Uh, 3.61 volts, yeah. No battery. I can push it a little more. Couple. No battery. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's yelling at me. No battery. <laughs> you, do you hear that leaf? <laughs> that was funny. No oh. battery. 